Profinet's goal is to cover all industry. Like Profibus in the past, we want to address factory automation, process automation, and motion control. But there is no automation with, uh, with motors, drives, um, but the uh, requirements are quite different. So looking at, at simple applications, we only need to drive a fan uh, for cooling something, for air conditioning, or whether you want to go to multi-access synchronized motion like in printing presses and, and similar application, the requirements are quite different. Um, so our goal with NPI is uh, to address all these different applications uh, with a single technology supporting Profinet, of course. So talking about drives today is not only uh, to talk about, well, how to control a drive, how to control a servo or a frequency converter. Drives today are complete automation systems itself. So starting with a safety functionality, which is in our case ProfiSafe as a profile, uh, even uh, up to uh, energy management functionality, where we talk about uh, Profi Energy, well, managing the energy consumption in a plant and in a drive. And all this is packed together uh, in a single drive uh, so that the drive can itself, well, can do all the controlling of, of safety, energy management, and all this functionality. So for us, we uh, separated this in different profiles, ProfiSafe, ProfiEnergy, and ProfiDrive itself wraps around both uh, and incorporates both to be able to do a complete application and a complete drive system. But speaking about the different application classes, um, well, we don't want to make it too difficult for a device manufacturer to implement a drive. Um, for instance, uh, if he only wants to have a frequency converter uh, with speed control, that should be fairly simple. While on the other end, we have highly synchronized applications where we need way more features to, for positioning and all that kind of things, electronic gears, for instance. So what we did in uh, MPI was to say, okay, there are certain application classes and they need to supply certain functionalities. Like application class one, only simple set point functionality, telling a drive, okay, run at a certain speed, RPMs, and maybe even getting a feedback from the drive, okay, uh, I reached the speed, so to make a closed loop control, not in the drive, but in a, in a in controller. On the other end, like application class four, is where you have all the synchronization features um, to really do uh, positioning, where you have a full motion control system, where you can do interpolation and, and things like that. And Supporting that, of course, we have in Profinet the real-time functionality where we don't have a, a synchronization and the IRT functionality where we do have a synchronization over the bus to really uh, have everything run at a, sim a single cycle. So what do we do in PI to support that functionality and to help the device manufacturer to implement the functionality in their drive to spread the technology basically is that we created a, uh, an open source community project where multiple vendors, it is uh, 100 uh, people or supporters are involved in that project where they all sit together and um, well work together on an open source project to be able as a drive manufacturer to use the technology, take the technology for the different application classes and implement them in the drive. And we already reached uh, certain milestones in the past where we say, okay, we have a, uh, the source code for application class one, so for the simple, more simple uh, drives. Um, and now we are close to release ap application class four, so the synchronized uh, stuff on the other end of the uh, performance scale. And in between, of course, you can uh, then reduce uh, the, the stacks and, and create your application class for whatever you need. But we have these two now. And the next step for us is now to work on a controller uh, source code so that as a motion controller uh, supply, you are able to in use that profit drive functionality as well and incorporate that in your uh, motion control class. Of course, there's a lot of support on that a community web page where you have application guidelines, how to use it, how to implement it, uh, supporting documents, and of course there's a big community of experts which you can ask uh, to get help and support and answer questions.